Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siri on the Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest fellow Virgos. Virgos, this is going to be your Valentine's Day 2021 True Love Messages reading. Now before I get started, I'm just going to ask that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the decks that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Now I will be using some adult themed decks, so if that's something that makes you uncomfortable, go ahead and skip on over to another video. For those of you who would like to stay, um, I suggest you leave a comment if you feel called to do so. And don't forget to ring that notification bell if you wanna get updates whenever I'm uploading new content, which I am doing quite frequently. So Virgos, let's go ahead and see what's going on, what love messages we have for my dearest Virgos messages for Virgo please love and romance February 2021 Valentine's Day true love messages for Virgo Ooh. oh Virgo it's a little messier than we like right all right so you are coming in as the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, your person is showing up as the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so you guys might be at a little bit of a stalemate in separation, watching each other, regretting what happened. Your connection, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Ooh, okay, so there's definitely an apology or reconciliation coming your way, Virgo. Um, the strengths of this card, you have the... Um, you know, the Leo energy, the strength card represented by number 11 in this deck in reverse, okay? And your weaknesses, you have the Emperor, okay? And your true love, ooh, we have the death card in reverse. Okay, Virgo, so this relationship definitely deserves a second chance or you and this person both want a second chance, okay? But I feel like you're not talking about it. Overall energy, we do have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this is your energy, Virgo. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is somebody who is very, very slow moving. Some of you guys might have gotten off your horse or maybe it was your person because things were taking too long. Things came to a standstill. So there's really sort of advice here. There's some sort of need to... Not necessarily that you have to rush into anything, but if you want this connection to work or if your person wants this to work, somebody's got to reach out. Somebody has got to move forward. We have the Ten of Swords. There may have been a very difficult ending between you guys. And again, you might have been very slowly sort of working towards some sort of end game here with them, but it seemed to, came, it seemed to come to an end. Eight of Cups in reverse. But Virgo, this person wants to come back or you want to come back to them. And somebody here absolutely wants to put in the hard work. So this is a story of this ended and regrets are on both sides. And somebody here really, I feel like both of you want to come in and put in the work because you realize what you guys lost or what you would be losing if you truly let this connection die. All right, 88, it tells me that you are manifesting this Virgo or your person. Okay, I feel like you guys are just both manifesting a reconciliation. So Virgo, you guys are showing up as the Page of Swords in reverse. So the Page of Swords is the most prepared page in the deck. Um, but in the reverse, he's feeling a little bit of a lack of confidence here. Um, you know, and it's kind of an energy of spying. There might also be a little bit of gossip. You might be asking friends and, and family or whatever, or anybody who knows your person, like, what are they up to? Are they still single? Did they, you know, did they say anything about me? <laughs> Although that's not really Virgo-ish, is it? But I feel like you are keeping an eye on this person and most likely online. All right, remember we are moving into Mer um, Mercury in retrograde and it's affecting the 11th house, Aquarius. So be careful what other people are saying to you. There could be gossip and there can also be lies and mistruths at this time about this person. So it's actually really important that you guys have a clear conversation um, if possible. Now your person is showing up also as an earth energy. So you might be two Virgos is what I'm picking up on or have heavy placements, similar placements in your chart because I do get that you guys actually want the same things. Um, 
but you both lack a little bit of confidence on how to get this going or waiting for the other one to take the lead here with the emperor, okay? But there is definitely a reconciliation on the table if that's something that you want. Your person has regrets. Your person doesn't like life without you, Virgo. Your person wants to come in from, from the cold. They don't like feeling alone. They miss their Virgo. Okay, this is doubly confirmed. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word, but um, about your connection. So the three of swords, there may have been some sort of sadness, disappointment. Some of you guys are really disappointed because it just seems like this relationship came to a standstill or your person wasn't putting in any effort. You may have been mirroring them and also stopped putting in effort into this. And it's like, what is going on? You know, because you guys, I see that there's a lot of love here. I do. I see that you guys don't like being without each other. I can almost sense that it hurts to be without one another. But there's there may be some ego involved about who's going to make the first move. There might be some fears here also um, with, you know, humiliation, rejection, um, you know, some issues with abandonment as well. So just because I'm getting that real throat chakra, and if you guys can hear my throat chakra is really acting up. Um, you know, and it can be, you know, when our, when we're imbalanced with the throat chakra and mercury retrograde, which is happening during Valentine's is about a purge and a detox of the throat chakra. We have fears of rejection, criticism, maybe there's indifference, which I'm picking up on. There might have been indifference here that led to an ending, but it's almost like this premature ending. Okay. And it seems like an injustice. And I think the universe is crying out to both of you <laughs> that it's like, I feel like you guys belong together. But um, we'll see what's going on here. So anyway, the characteristics that sort of bring you guys together, somebody here is going to make an apology, Virgo, whether it's you or your person, um, because I feel like this is a connection that you guys are supposed to be together. Um, the strengths of this card, you know, we have the strength card. Okay, so this is Leo energy. So I get that there's a lot of passion. I think there's the message here for you guys is pretty strong. If you want it, it can happen. And you know, you guys are also Virgos. We, the magician card rules Virgo. It's the major arcana card for the, for the Virgo archetype. And it can be, I mean, there's the hermit card as well, but you know, with the magician card is about really believing in your magic and what you think, what you believe, what you imagine you can manifest. And I feel like that's a big message here for you guys. The strength card in reverse though, tells me that there is some solar plexus work to be done. You know, that somebody or both of you have fears of failure. You know, there may have been social pressure. Again, I do pick up with the three of swords and the page of swords. There might have been some gossip. There could be some energy around you guys or around this connection, like a frenemy or family members or something that you saw online. You have to use your best judgment here and make sure that, you know, your reaction to what you saw is actually based on truth and not on some sort of misinterpretation, if that makes sense. Um, you know, and so it's also like, you know, um, you know, worried about like some sort of rejection or humiliation. I feel like Virgos that we're trying to avoid that at all costs, or maybe even your person, but it's like your person wants to come out from, from the cold. They want to be with you. Um, so again, really focusing on that solar plexus chakra is going to be really potent for you guys. Um, and it has the possibility here for you guys to really go the distance. I can see that there's passion between you. Okay. And again, I feel like you might be dealing with another earth sign or another Virgo, which would be, you have a little bit of a tendency to get stuck in your head and get that, get into that analysis paralysis energy. Now the, um, the relationship weaknesses or the issues that need to be explored and addressed, it's more solar plexus energy with the Aries card of the emperor. Somebody here needs to take the lead. Okay, Virgo. So if it's going to be you, you know, or is it going to be the other person? It's a question that has to, you know, how bad do you want it? What is it that you truly want? Now in your true love card, this is Scorpio energy. So some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries, um, but, um, or have those placements heavy in your chart, but the death card here is about a rebirth. Okay. And this is somebody, you know, this is, if we look at this position, she's completely vulnerable here. Um, you know, and she's dropping all sort of, you know, not just her clothing, but she's dropping all sorts of pretenses and she's allowing herself to be vulnerable. We can see here that she has these skeleton hands. So she's actually showing who she truly is underneath it all, you know, and I am hearing that Gwen Stefani song underneath it all, or that no doubt song.
song. <laughs> there might be a message in there for some of you. All right. I think it's like, you still love me underneath it all. You really love me underneath it all. You know that song, it's quite old, but um, it's a beautiful song. So you guys, there definitely have been some difficulties and some challenges here, but we have the energy of divine masculine, which tells me you guys very well could be soulmates. So Virgos, let's go ahead and see what else comes through. All right, so we get finding balance, the two of pentacles. Okay, you could you could have found out your person was juggling. Um, it could be that there's been difficulties juggling, you know, work and life. You know, Virgos are very hardworking. Um, maybe your person is as well, because I get that they're another earth sign. So it's like almost like you guys could have just had your head down and kind of let this slip away, Virgo. Okay, so it's all about finding that balance. It's like the universe wants you to enjoy lover, love and, and your lover and earthly pleasures here, Virgo, because I feel like there's been too much of a focus on money and on other things and maybe worrying about others, taking care of everyone. Spirit's coming through here saying you need a second chance at life and at love. And for most of you with this person, Okay, so you get the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So more Earth energy dominating this reading. This is Venus and Virgo. So it's like you guys have been on your own. You guys have proven that you're independent, that you're awesome. But it's like Spirit wants you to come together in union here. Um, you know, all of us are different what we want and what we need. But it's almost like Virgo, I don't feel like you're going to be single for very long. But... Um, you know, but you also have to be able to be willing to come into this sort of balanced state. Dedicated effort. Yeah. So again, somebody here wants to put in the effort with you, Virgo. This relationship is worth salvaging, is worth saving um, for many of you. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, this absolutely is, is a reconciliation. Um, and somebody here wants to put in the effort. And it's almost like some of you guys, I feel like you guys both like mirrored each other and and stopped putting putting the effort into this relationship but i feel like it's a defense mechanism like i don't want to be humiliated i don't want to be the chaser i don't want to be the one who's doing all the work and then i get rejected so i feel like these are some deep fears that are really being worked through and then we get share the love yeah virgo reconciliation coming together you guys belong together Virgo, this is another earth sign or somebody with heavy earth in their placements. It could be Scorpio as well, Cancer. I mean, it could be a water sign. It doesn't really matter. It's like you guys are very, very similar, but it's, you know, look at this. We see these two people. This is what you're being pushed towards, Virgo, opening up to love. And for many of you, opening up to a reconciliation here. Now, for those of you who are going to say, I don't, you know, this isn't about, I don't want a past person. Again, it could be that you have your eye on somebody and there is somebody who also is like, you know, maybe they've been through a parallel experience and they want to, they want, they're looking for a partner as well. Um, so you guys might have sort of, you know, you might, might bond by, you know, messages in a chat room or maybe, you know, two friends, you know, meet up, but not that we're really going to bars, but you know, like I just got dumped. So did I, you know, there's that, there's that possibility as well. But for most of you, this is absolutely a reconciliation. Okay. And we get the base chakra. Okay. So this is coming out as sort of imbalanced and, you know, this can be, um, you know, a little bit of a mistrust or fear of change. Um, you know, it could be, it could be, um, yeah, it's like a sense of survival and belonging. Some of my Virgos, maybe I feel like, you know, this is for those of you where this is a new person. Some of you guys might really have shared like a past, like a childhood where you had like an alcoholic parent or you have suffered abuse in previous relationships. I feel like some of you guys are going to be coming together, like in some sort of support group or in some sort of energy of supporting each other okay I don't pick up on that there was abuse between you guys um, but I feel like also you know there's this there's this mistrust of putting all your eggs in one basket and fear of getting hurt again and you know spirits like this is the lesson that we need to learn because this is really a relationship that's worth putting in the effort, okay, whether it's old or new. Now, that doesn't mean by any means am I saying, Virgo, that, you know, you go back and you reconcile with somebody who's hurt you or somebody who has, you know, cheated on you. 
um, you know, we're, we're all human and we all know we need to trust our own guidance, not a reading. Don't give your power over to me or any other reader or any reading. Okay. You're going to know, all right, what, you know, what you need to do in this situation. So let's go ahead and see what other messages come through. But for many of you, yes, it's like this, this is a relationship worth fighting for self-care. There's that nine of pentacles. There's that Venus and Virgo energy. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Okay. And many of you guys, if this is a break with somebody, it was so you could bring balance into your life. Some of you were working overtime. Maybe it was you and your person. And it's like spirits, like you need to take care of yourself. The reason that you guys, you know, you guys were on break. I mean, you, there might've been some fight or there might be, you know, some differences or whatever, but it was actually because you needed to do some inner work, okay, before you guys could come together. Yeah, put away the computer. <laughs> Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Ooh, yeah, because I'm a Virgo rising. So, you know, I know. <laughs> you, sometimes we have a tendency to choose work over romance, right? And then we have decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. Yeah, absolutely. And we see that there with the two of pentacles. Important to make a decision. I feel like many of you guys are going to decide to take this person back. Um, you're going to decide, um, you know, you're going to see, okay, what's really important here. Yeah, spirit, I just keep getting spirit doesn't want you to let this love go. Oh, Virgo. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what love and lust cards, see if we can get a little naughty here, Virgo, because we've been nothing but all business, right? Let's take a look and see Virgo's energy. All right, so Virgo, I was just going to say, you know, Virgos, sometimes we get the rap of being the virgin, um, being conservative, but Virgos are very, very powerful lovers. And, um, and I, oftentimes that's a little bit of a misunderstanding. Virgos, we have a weird checklist, each and every one of us, it's going to be different, but a weird little checklist. And if somebody checks those boxes, then you will see a very different side to Virgos. Okay, and here it is. I want to get down and dirty with you, then make you clean up the mess with your tongue. Ooh. So some of my Virgos are going to be getting kind of kinky. Some of you guys are, this person is going to come over to your house. There's a conversation. You are not going to make it past the kitchen. <laughs> Virgo. All right. I love it. Okay. Some of my Virgos are a little bit afraid to get really vulnerable with someone. Um, you may have experienced rejection in the past, or you might have some like kinks and fetishes that, you know, you're worried whether or not they're going to accept or not. But Virgo, you're being asked to bear it all to this person. We see that. Don't be afraid. The right person, you know, the right person is not going to run from you. <clears throat> Even if you like to be a little naughty here and there, or you do something funky in bed, you know, we all have our... We all have different things that get us off for different kinks. So ultimately it's not that weird. All right. Um, I know this love that we have isn't just ordinary. It's unique in its own mysterious way. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. You might be an odd couple. Through telepathy, I can hear your desires. Through meditation, I can channel your sexual needs. And through manifestation, I can turn your fantasies into reality. I love to tap into your energy. Yes, Virgo. And I feel like even when you guys are apart, you guys might be having, you know, sweet dreams about each other. You might be, um, I feel like if you guys are thinking about each other when you're masturbating and stuff like that. Okay. So I told you this reading might get a little bit naughty, so I have to channel the messages that are coming through. Um, okay. And then we get, look at this. Here's that unexpected. Here comes true love. You don't see it coming. You weren't expecting it. It's going to hit you out of the blue. This love is going to take your breath away. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys are going to get an unexpected knock at your door. Um, maybe even, you know, somebody just saying, hey, we, I know we haven't been talking to each other, but Virgo, 
<laughs> I want to see you. Um, so I do feel like there is a beautiful reunion here for many of you. And for others of you, it's an unexpected, you know, you might be commiserating about a breakup or something, um, you know, or you might be in, in like a support group, which is not commiserating. I don't mean it that way. But, you know, you might be, you know, in a support group that's, uh, you know, where you guys have, you know, shared some similar trauma from the past and really find one another. Okay. It's really nice. Mm. And at the bottom of the deck, you have, you have found your divine counterpart, Virgo. We're keeping it out. Both of your souls found their way back home to each other. A love that's meant to last a thousand lifetimes. Virgo, I could just die because it's like spirit is directing you towards this. You have been too serious for too long. You've, you've either had your head in the books or, you know, at work. And I feel like, you know, you've met somebody who's very similar to you, who's also working really hard and maybe has some of the same, you know, some of the same stuff to work through. And you're like on the verge of letting this just go away. Or maybe you guys have and spirits like, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 divine intervention. Okay. <laughs> I love this. Okay. All right, so we get passion. Yeah, Virgo, things are going to heat up for you, especially those of my Virgos who have been quite celibate for quite some time because this is your true love, okay? So making love to your divine counterpart is absolutely unlike anything with anybody else. And I do feel like you, you'll be able to feel safe and secure in whatever it is in telling them what you need, what you like, okay? But I told you there needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And you guys are both kind of waiting to see who's going to do it first or if it's going to happen and kind of just like, you know, working away. <laughs> when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So yeah, you know, matter, you know, so Virgo, some of you guys have been too focused on the 3D, which is beautiful to have stability and wealth and abundance, but spirits like, <clears throat> true love, please, you know, <laughs> hang a left. <laughs> Okay, Virgos, I love you so much. Okay, let's see. And then we get, all right, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. So yeah, resisting this has created a lot of stress, I think, for you guys. And maybe you just said, okay, I'm, you know, I can't focus on love right now. You know, got to get back to work, whatever it might, it might be. It's almost like spirits, like not going to allow you to resist this any longer. Um, go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. Yeah. I mean, Virgo, it's super hot, but it's also leading you to your counterpart. Okay, and there we go, Virgo, Virgos. <laughs> you better get ready for this, okay? Especially my Virgos who have been, who have been very chaste, okay? And obviously I'm not trying to change your views if that's, you know, if you're saving yourself or anything like that, but honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. Virgos, it is heating up for us this Valentine's. And I say us because I claim this reading, um, <laughs> you know, for all Virgos involved. Um, there is an important heart to heart conversation that's going to lead to just, a, just clarity and understanding and, you know, you're being asked to accept it into your life. Okay. So I love you guys. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.